Well, I thought it was a really interesting session. I thought it was quite striking how similar a lot of the visions that were presented about the future are to the state of the market right now, but maybe just a little bit hotter. Um, I think it's possible that there will be quite profound changes that happen in that time, but the nature of change is that it's the unexpected things that make the biggest difference. And so knowing what those are gonna be ahead of time is, is pretty much impossible. For those of our members, for the small business community, I think having expectations about 2030 and beyond is something that is not really in most of their uh, outlook right now. 20% of small businesses fail every year. Most of them do not have the luxury of looking out a decade or more into the future. It's what's happening on the immediate horizon that is what they care about. And it's those discussions about costs, about the nature of transition over the rest of this decade that are the ones that they're focused on. We asked members of ours what their outlook on net zero and other uh, sort of energy transition issues was at present. And we were reasonably comforted by how many businesses were supportive of net zero and even more importantly, how few were sort of opposed to net zero transition. But I think what was striking was that despite that level of support, very few businesses actually understood what the net, tran net zero transition would mean for them within their own business. That knowledge gap, we think, is something that really needs to be addressed. Businesses need to be helped along that journey to understand what a net zero economy and what a net zero future is going to mean for them.